the popularity of the Kenya USA diaspora circle is spreading fast among Kenyans who live here in the United States. In Atlanta and its environs, the circle has become almost a sensation, with many Kenyans rushing to join the new cooperative society. Soon after beginning its operations, the circle officials told NTV that they were overwhelmed by the number of applications coming from all corners of the vast nation. The SACO is accepting applications from Kenyans who live in the 50 states that form the North American country. Washington, Atlanta, if you're going to go to Jackson, Mississippi. The first diaspora SACO to be registered by the government. The SACO focuses on savings, retirement benefits and group investments. Now when you talk about investments, you know, in those investment opportunities, it means you are going to invest as a SACO not as individuals. It promises its members affordable credit and they will be able to borrow up to three times of their share capital. If there's a loan that you see on there that is not available, let us know about it. We're going to develop that and we're going to cater it to meet your needs. Although it was formally launched last year, it did not open for business immediately as it was seeking world-class professional expertise to help it secure its foundation and begin its operations on a solid footing. We put a bid in the international market, getting the best brains in the world to come up with this system. We put our system requirements. Its launch was attended by senior Kenyan government officials, led by the then Minister for Cooperatives, Joseph Nyaga. You can go and invest your money in anything you want. Outgoing Kenya's ambassador to the U.S., Elkana Odembo, loaded the circle, saying it is perhaps the best thing that has ever happened to the Kenyans in the diaspora. When this circle is established and takes off, the remittances that have been coming from here will be peanuts. The circle is one of its kind as most of its operations will be electronic based, letting customers carry out most of their transactions online. The interactive interface will no doubt be popular with Kenyans in the diaspora, most of whom would find it almost impossible to physically present themselves for transactions. For a long time, Kenyans here have sought ways to make structured remittances and facilitate investment back home. But more often than not, they have been disappointed by the bureaucracy and dishonesty among some of their compatriots. One of the biggest fears that Kenyans have is this idea that you can live here for 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 years and have nothing at home. So far, the savings and credit cooperative subsector has mobilized over 400 billion Kenya shillings in domestic savings and accounts for 33% of Kenya's domestic savings. The operations of this new SACO are governed by the Cooperative Societies Act and all its activities are monitored by a special unit that deals with all SACOs domiciled outside Kenya. Now they say once beaten, twice shy. In the many cities that I've been to here in the United States, I've heard all manner of stories of Kenyans being swindled of colossal amounts of money some through Ponzi schemes, others through investment by proxy. But here now comes an outfit that seems to be well anchored in law. BMJ Mridi, NTV, Atlanta.